Yes, Tony's my son. It appears he was murdered by a man named Jeffrey Dahmer. Shirley Hughes, mother of Tony Hughes, a victim of Jeffrey Dahmer's, is speaking out against Netflix's Monster, the true crime series starring Evan Peters, which highlights the stories of the 17 men and teenage boys murdered by the serial killer. Sir, we're under arrest for the attempted murder. <laughs> The man out there, you have the right to remain silent. Tony, a 31-year-old deaf and mute man, was one of Dahmer's last victims, killed in 1991. With the deaf-mute guy, I wanted to keep him with me, so I gave him a drink with the pills in it, fell asleep, and I wanted to see if I could uh, think of a way to keep him with me without actually hit, you know, killing him. In an interview with The Guardian, Tony's mom Shirley joins the many who are slamming the Ryan Murphy dramatization. Shirley slams the show, saying, quote, I don't see how they can use our names and put stuff out like that out there. I would like to say to Jeffrey Dahmer that he don't know the pain the hurt, the loss, and the mental state that he had put our family in. That's Shirley facing Dahmer in court at his 1992 sentencing, a moment the series recreated word for word. But I'd just like to read a poem that good friend of my son wrote. It's something that's not only difficult for Shirley to relive, but also the other victims' families too, like Rita Isbell, sister of 19-year-old Errol Lindsay. My name is Rita Isbell, and I'm the oldest sister of Errol Lindsay. Jer, whatever your name is, Satan, I'm mad. This is how you act when you are out of control. I don't want to ever see my mother have to go through this again. Never, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I hate you, mother in an essay for Insider last month, Rita recalled how the Netflix series brought back all the emotions I was feeling back then. She wrote that the scene bothered me, especially when I saw myself, when I saw my name come across the screen, and this lady saying verbatim exactly what I said. I knew I was sick or evil or both. Now I believe I was sick. And it was so jaw-dropping that it all really happened, that it felt important to try to tell the story as authentically as we could. And, uh, you know, you need to have certain plot points because he did do these things, but you don't need to embellish them. Errol's cousin, Eric Perry, also called out Monster for re-traumatizing him and his family. I knew Jeffrey Dahmer and several of his victims. And Friends of Dahmer's victims are coming forward, too, in another Netflix project, Conversations with a Killer, the Jeffrey Dahmer Tapes. It saddens me every time I think about any of those gentlemen. But with a different message, why it's important to honor their stories. They had a life that they loved. I think it's important to tell their story. Nobody deserves to die like that. To this day, I don't know what started it. And uh, the person to blame is sitting right across from you. That's the only person. Not uh, parents, not society, not pornography. I mean, those are just excuses. 